I want to start by asking you, we just uh, heard, uh, you know, a half hour long monthly program of Prime Minister Man Ki Baat. You were extensively written about it as well. Uh, what kind of an influence, first of all, uh, does this, do you see as far as this program is concerned, just not only on the masses, but also on, uh, you know, the way AIR and DD has been perceived? Man Ki Baat has been a flagship program of the public broadcaster, uh, thanks to the Honorable Prime Minister for now more than nine years. And the impact and influence of this program uh, has been uh, primarily on motivating mass behavioral change on various uh, areas of our public life, be it cleanliness, uh, be it water conservation, which the Prime Minister spoke about uh, very extensively today. Uh, looking to cultural symbols, cultural icons for inspiration uh, and then placing them in the context of modern India, its march to the future. I think that is really the key essence of Man Ki Baat. It is about positivity. Uh, it is about uh, drawing pride from who you are, drawing lessons from uh, you know where you came from, at the same time not losing sight uh, of what needs to be done for India's future. And I think that is uh, really what uh, Man Ki Baat has come to mean uh, over these last nine years. Mr. Shikir, you know, uh, what would you say about uh, this uh, this entire uh, uh, what we saw the the grand program inauguration of the parliament today? Uh, very well choreographed uh, program as well. And uh, once again, like you were talking about, picking up cultural symbols and trying to put them in context of today, that was also placed in abundance as far as this inauguration program is concerned. Uh, absolutely, and I think what the prime minister has done today. Uh, is to uphold a very old uh, ancient tradition, uh, which has, you know, maintained its continuity over the centuries, over the decades. Uh, it is not without reason that, you know, in 1947, on the 14th of August, that Pandit Nehru uh, went through a similar process, uh, received this scepter uh, from the Mats in Tamil Nadu, uh, and, uh, you know, gave it that sanctity of, you know, what is uh, India's sovereignty, what is India's rule of law, uh, and, and symbolizing that. And what the Prime Minister has done is now given it a rightful place uh, in the new Parliament House. And, and going, going through this uh, entire uh, ceremony this morning, uh, he has reaffirmed India's cultural roots, uh, the, the unity and the integration of India culturally, right from you know the, the, the foothills of the Himalayas all the way to Kanyakumari. Uh, and by placing this uh, Dharma Dharna or the scepter or the Sengol, uh, where the Speaker sits in the chamber of the new Lok Sabha, uh, he has affirmed uh, that continuity, that integrity of uh, India uh, territorially and, and culturally uh, over the centuries. Right. But what would you say to uh, those, in fact, uh, criticizing it? I mean, uh, many calling it uh, uh, th that, you know, the India that we are talking about uh, as a landmass at that point of time, the traditions that, uh, we, the, that we are talking about, especially when it comes to Shingol, uh, in, in democratic India or in a democratic parliamentary setup, this handing over of power from, uh, it used to be a symbol of, uh, you know, power from one king to another. How much of significance does this have? It's an interesting question. And uh, my only response to those, uh, you know, who are posing this question, that they've forgotten the Indian national album, uh, emblem. Uh, where did the, the Ashok Chakra and the Lion Capital come from? Uh, they didn't emerge from, you know, uh, nowhere from a vacuum. Uh, the, the lion capital and the chakra are as much a symbol of India's uh, sovereignty, India's uh, dharma, rule of law, uh, derived from, you know, ancient kingdoms as the Sengot. So, so it's a very, uh, you know, puerile argument, uh, unfortunate argument that is being made. Uh, it is an argument without logic. Uh, if you look at uh, the, the danda, and as it was pointed out uh, just now on social media by one of the professors from IIT Bombay, uh, that the danda is something that symbolized sovereignty all through the centuries across various texts. And... Uh, in that sense, uh, it is as much a symbol of sovereignty as is the chakra, as is the lion capital. Uh, so, so my response is that uh, the the opposition has, you know, uh, put itself into a corner. It has, uh, you know, uh, it tried to delegitimize this entire new parliament exercise. Uh, it uh, it tried to undermine it at every stage by going to the courts, uh, by trying to stall it, uh, you know, legally, what they could not achieve politically. Uh, and now that they've, you know, taken this uh, high stakes position of boycotting this event. Uh, when the single uh, issue came up, uh, they just, uh, you know, ran out of arguments to make. And uh, hence, you see these very absurd arguments, uh, because uh, if, if this argue, line of argument of the Congress was to hold, uh, then why did we adopt the chakra? Why did we adopt the lion capital? Uh, so so, so I, I, I see that 
this is uh, you know a very unfounded line of argument that is being advanced uh, the reality is that uh, india is a cultural union it has always been a cultural union for centuries and uh, and the colonial hangover that uh, we've had for these last few decades uh, is slowly being uh, lifted and i think today's events uh, are a testimony to that what about uh, uh, you know the opposition parties asking uh, the the president uh, should possibly should have been invited should have been a part of this as the head of the government as the constitution mandates uh, do you also think that the president and the vice president should have been invited they should have been part of this entire ceremony so i don't want to get into the the new protocol nuances of uh, you know matters of the state i think uh, every state event has its uh, you know protocol its dignity a manner in which it is to be conducted uh for example uh, whenever uh, the the parliament convenes uh, you have the joint address uh, by the honorable president where the president is ceremonially uh, you know uh, brought to the uh, the parliament and, and and the address happens so so there is a certain dignity to which uh, you know how state functions are held uh, so so it's not a matter for you know political argumentation uh, i think uh, what the prime minister has done today uh, along with the lok sabha speaker and you know several leaders Uh, is to lay the foundation for how modern democracy will function in india with a futuristic parliament which has uh, you know capacity for future growth it has all the modern technology he's put all of that in place uh, and at the, i'm sure at the right moment uh, in the right uh, ceremonial manner uh, the honorable president will grace uh, this new uh, parliament Mr. Uh, Vimpati thank you so much uh, for joining us and uh, speaking to us here on ndtv